Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to restore the program guide within Windows Media Center uh, now that Microsoft has discontinued the free program guide data as of January 2020. So let me first show you quickly what the guide looks like after it has been restored and then I'm going to show you how it was done and how to do it yourself. But uh, I used so here's Media Center on my, window, on my Windows 7 Media Center and here's your guide data I also did some customizations to how the guide data looks I changed the number of rows and the size uh, I, and this was done using a program called EPG123 in conjunction with a service called Schedules Direct which you get a 7 day free trial but costs $25 a year so anyway, first let me just give you a quick look at the guide. Uh, let me uh, let's quickly also show you a uh, sort of random channel. So here's this. Uh, let me show you some of the features. You, you see you'll have all of your features back, the cover art, program info, with the reviews, um, details, uh, you can change aspect ratios, language, closed captioning works. I can, here's my mini guide. Here's a larger view of the uh, data. Other showings, so I can see what other showings. Here's your cover art for the movie. So I can see the other showings, and it'll show HD next to high definition channels and the showings for them. Here's your full cast and info, cast and crew. Let me just do another random show, movie details, the cell. Actions, record, watch, other showings cast, all that good stuff. Now let me back out of here. You also have your full search options. You can search for movie titles, keywords, uh, categories like, uh, like kids, for example, action, you know, uh, some random shows. And these are when it airs. Let me back up. And you can search by the title of a movie, like, like Spider-Man. And of course you have all your information here. So it's a very complete program guide with all the information that you could possibly need. It works perfectly. You can search by actors, directors, everything. Here, let's go back to the guide again. It's very nice. Let me just choose another random show. No. You can have your little program guide again. You can search through. And that's about that. So now that I've showed you the program guide, let me show you how we did it. So again, I said uh, you're going to download EPG123, and here's their website. You'll, you could just Google search for EPG123, that's the fastest way to do it. It's going to be the top result. You're going to just choose download now, install the program, and there's an install tab over here, which has a helpful video going over the steps of installation uh, using an over-the-air signal. Um, if you have a cable card like I do it's a little simpler setup you don't have to wait forever for it to scan your channels that I can see and whatnot like they do in this um, video and of course 
again, uh, this has the additional uh, tweaks. It goes over better than the old data. Gives you a lot more information, meaningful categories, etc. More customizing. Uh, like well, I changed the number of rows, for example, and other such things, which I'll go over in a moment. So when you, after you install, download and install APG one two three for the first time, you're going to run uh, client setup, and it's going to start by erasing the data within your Windows Media Center. I mean the guide data, the tuner data, and bring you back to where you set up your signal. Uh, from there, you're going to choose your region. You're going to put your zip code in, choose your region like you would normally. You're going to decline uh, downloading data from their guide data, and then you can just continue on from there, select your tuners, uh, etc. Now, once you're done with that part, you're going to close out of the, the media center, and it's going to open the configuration tool where you'll enter your schedules direct account the username and password so you have to go to schedulesdirect.org and if you just type schedules direct in google you'll see that as a result you're going to sign up and create a free seven day trial from there cost twenty five dollars a year if you want to maintain it so that's schedulesdirect.org uh, so once it brings you opens this program the the configuration tool it's going to for the first time it's going to ask you your zip code after you enter your zip code it's going to show you a list of providers within your zip code you know like when you have cable like I did you know that's the way it's going to do it and I chose uh, Fios and then I applied and then it populated that with uh, these channels uh, once, uh, once it did that you don't have to change anything, you just choose save and execute. Um, although I did change the default of 14 program days to 21, just for the heck of it. But yeah, you just choose save and execute, and that's that. It's going to populate then the client program, at which point you can customize uh, your guide if you like. And you can change a schedule to automatically update your guide data. Now let me get that just incorrectly. All right, so you're going to set up a schedule. You're going to choose awake if you're putting your computer to sleep all the time. Choose create. And then if you need to delete it and change it, you can go back to the main program and then delete the schedule that you made and then create a new time. Uh, you're going to choose uh, tweak WMC. These are some of the tweaks that you can do. Um, and what I did, which was shown in the video, on their website was I changed the cell font size, I changed the guide row height, I changed the channel uh, loop size from small to medium, I increased it from 7 to 10 rows, I went from 2 to 3 for the, mi for the mini guide, I chose automatically adjust over here, uh, I chose uh, central logos, and then I hit update, and that was that. Although you can do whatever you want with your own customizations. I just followed what was shown in the video. Uh, set up and then what I showed you was the result anyway I hope this video helps anybody interested in restoring their guide data back to the Windows Media uh, Windows Media Center and if you like this video please hit that like button please subscribe if you want to see more from me and I'll see you in the next one